started with the idea of the parish council wanting ideas for to celebrate the millennium. And I, uh, I was interested in uh, getting an idea of how big the solar system was at the time. And also, uh, I've been reading about how ancient civilizations had their monuments to mark points in time. I thought, wouldn't it be marvelous if we could put a scale model of the solar system in this village where everything was exact and in the position with the planets as they were on Millennium Night. On the top of each of these pillars, there's a slight recess, you'll have a disc with the planet engraved on it. Mars over there, Mercury there, Earth over there. It's known as the first point of Aries and it decides where the um, stars are measured from. That's where you want it though. So she phones Trisha on Neptune when the sign is given. The Earth is over there by the blue balloons. Was over there 18 months ago. Since then, this is January 2000, and it is now July 2001, we've been one and a half times round the Sun. OK? So the Earth is now over here. Saturn is out of sight in the doctor's front garden. Pluto is way up over there, the third hedge up, I think it is, and is 983 meters away. That's nearly a kilometer on this scale. It gives me great pleasure to unveil his nibs, the sun. So there is the sun. And you'll see your face. Mercury, release your balloons. Saturn. Let go of the rocket! Oh, woo. He's there, look. We're actually standing on Mars. <laughs> this is the first time, so far as we know, where a point in time has been defined by the positions of the planets. If they had wanted to show the position of the nearest star to Odford, they'd have had to put the plinth somewhere in Los Angeles. At the planet Neptune, this is Damon Green for London Tonight.